Right, back to the hot topic today, the weather. Shifali and our science correspondent, David, are trying to cool off near Birmingham's newest water fountain. So how hot's it been today, guys? Well, Nicola, it's been very hot indeed. We've seen highs of 32 Celsius in the south of the region. And, of course, it's been the influence of that sizzling heat wave that's been developing over mainland Europe. At Bordeaux, they've broken their all-time record of 40.8 Celsius by seeing highs of 41 Celsius. And, of course, we could see some record-breaking July temperatures later this week. Unfortunately, it's also going to lead to some warm and oppressive nights. So I've been talking to some sleep scientists to get some top tips on how to get a good night's sleep in weather like this. Meet Jeremy, our sleep guinea pig, and he's fast asleep at the University of Warwick, having been given the best advice to conquer a hot and sticky night. A shower to start, but tepid, not freezing. A really cold shower causes your body to shiver as it tries to warm up, leaving you hotter than when you started. Any other tips? Other things you can do are things like um, putting flannels on your forehead to cool your head down and putting flannels on your feet because having cold feet also helps you go to sleep eat more easily. Um, other tips are things like use a hot water bottle but put cold water in it. So put it on the bits that help you cool down quickly so your wrists, under your knees or on your feet, they will all help you cool down. A bucket of ice in front of a fan produces cooling air. Now when it comes to sleep the advice is take gadgets out of your bedroom but on a hot night all of these gadgets your laptop phones tablets tvs video game consoles they're also pumping out heat so turn them off and if possible take them out of your bedroom long term a lack of sleep causes real health issues it's linked to diabetes obesity and cardiovascular disease but even short-term sleepless nights thanks to the hot weather can cause issues we need to think about Obviously, if you're sleepy, don't drive. If you do have to drive and you think, well, I might be sleepy, you're not sure, have some caffeine, but wait half an hour because it takes half an hour to caffeine to get into your system. So have the, the drink, wait, then do your drive. And now, hopefully, our sleep guinea pig will enjoy a restful night's sleep. Good night, everyone.